against the ropes podcast. Canelo is facing, I guess, is mandatory in Avni Yildirim, 21 and 2, 12 knockouts. Um, he has lost to Chris Eubank Jr. He has lost to, I believe, Anthony Durrell. Yeah. yeah. And so it's he's not, I guess, he's not a, a big, big name per se, you know, but then again, it's, it's, I mean, Can- Canelo had just has to pick, you know, he just has to fight whoever's in front of him, and that's that's the mandatory right now. So, uh, yeah. what, what do you know about him? Do you have, have nothing, anything? absolutely nothing. nothing. I know he's <laughs> Turkish, um, yeah. but I, I heard that people have good good things to say about him. But hopefully, it's just yeah. not one of those fights like um, uh, Triple G's last fight where it wasn't very competitive, where it's yeah. almost dangerous to a certain extent. Um, but look, uh, Canelo said he wants the titles at 168. Um, and Yildirim, I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. I have no idea. I don't have any Turkish friends. But uh, I guess we'll find out uh, the day of the fight, right? Or the week of the fight, how you really say it. But um, yeah. all I know is that that he was the mandatory supposedly before before Canelo mm-hmm. fought um, Callan Smith. So he was already the mandatory. Why? I have no idea. But he is. He hasn't fought in a while, from what I've heard. Um, But yeah, just more details on this fight. It's supposed to go down February 27th. It's official uh, versus mandatory challenger. Anvi yielding him. I'm trying my best there. I think I killed it. I don't know. But anyway, (laughs) at the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens, Florida. So they're going to Florida, one of those states where you can't have fans. Um, Mm -hmm. I saw tweets by Eddie Hearn saying that the... uh, the, the pre-sale was already uh, going on, and that sold out. And then the tickets are still going to go out to the general public. Not sure what the um, capacity limits are on that. But, yeah, it, it looks like this fight is going to go down. Yildirim him 21 and 2, 12 knockouts. He hasn't mm-hmm. fought since February 2019. Like you mentioned, he, he lost to Darrell, you know, and he was already the mandatory before before the uh, Callum Smith fight. But, you know, just going back to Canelo's comments saying that, and his team saying that they want all the titles at 168. He has to get through this fight. Obviously, most people will um, obviously favor Canelo by a lot. It's probably like a, what, what do you say, 95, 5, 98, too? 90, if anything, yeah. Not to be disrespectful, yeah. but, um, but yeah, he has to get through this fight, and everything is pointing toward May. Billy Joe Saunders and September Caleb Plant. Now mm. that's supposedly the plan. Um, the Billy Joe Saunders fight seems likely because Canelo signed a short deal with a short-term deal there with Eddie Hearn. I think it was two fights. Some people are saying three, um, mm-hmm. but it, it looks likely that Billy Joe that that fight will happen. Uh, last time, Billy Joe didn't want it. He said he didn't have enough time or whatnot. Um, now you would think that Eddie Hearn is going to pressure him into taking the fight, uh, especially in May, especially for for that 168 title that he has. Um, and then Caleb Plant is possibly the the opponent in September. Now, I don't think Caleb Plant, we still got to talk about Benavides because he is fighting, but I don't think Caleb Plant fights Benavides this year. I don't think he's going to risk taking a loss. I don't think he, yeah. because if he loses that title, he doesn't get the Canelo fight. Yeah, yeah, no, and and like you said, what 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 Canelo said about unifying the belts, we can clearly tell he's more comfortable at one sixty eight than either at one seventy five, one sixty. So that's one sixty eight is that is that is that home right now. And now I do you're right. I know a lot of people. I know Caleb Plant. Was, I didn't want to talk about him today, to be honest. <laughs> Come on, man. We have, we have no respect. <laughs> No, because I think a lot of people have the same sentiments yeah. as I do. Maybe no, I same here, same here. Do. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. We we cannot, in 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 honesty, respect somebody that's that's calling for that cash cow, but you're fighting guys like a Truax, who um, yeah, if we know if you see his record, he's he's, he's a veteran, been in the game a long time. He's he has a lot of notable losses in the l- latter part of his career, so it's. It's kind of just like a gimme for for Caleb Plant, and so a lot of the fans God, won't get behind no, him. No enemies, and of course, <laughs> is it too early for that? We're gonna talk about AB too, man. But I'll let you continue. Yeah, AB, AB can make a little cameo <laughs> here, and then we'll, we'll give a spotlight later. But um, 
Yeah, man. Canelo right now is in the driver's seat. This yield during fight seems like the appetizer. It's it's it seems like it sets up for the big big platter, which is May and September. So um, I guess my question for you is like, what do you expect to see out of uh, Canelo? Like this this being the the first part of the of the year. Not much, man. Uh, I don't think it's going to be very competitive, but I think he's just going to go in there and do what he does. And and I read today that the the fight with Billy Joe Saunders is already lined up, so they're clearly just taking this as a mandatory a fight that they have to take. Excuse yeah. me, a fight that they have to take and obviously win. But yeah, I think that lines them up for the rest of the 168 titles. And then let me let me interrupt myself to go to some of the comments here. Uh, our guy George Razo. From the George Russell podcast says, I like how he got out of the, the zone contract, and but he's still fighting on the zone, right? And I'm sure people who sub to the zone like that as well, right? <laughs> yeah. You got the, 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 no, the face of boxing still on that uh, platform network. Hey, yeah, no, for, for, for Canelo, it seems like the year really does start off on, in, in May. Uh, again, I... I understand where Billy Joe comes from. He's been a fighter that um, I, I think he's gone in the past to say like he didn't want to take a, a Triple G fight until he thought he was ready. I, he's had that option to fight Triple G 2017, 2018. You know, the same thing goes on, on with Canelo fight. He's like, you know what? I'm not ready. I need more time to prepare. I think he's going to get Canelo trouble. Not sure if he defeats him, but it, it makes it interesting. It, it, it makes you feel like you'll get the the best Billy Joe, you know, come, come May. But, um, yeah, as a, as for Caleb Plant, man, he's got he's got to step it up. Everybody knows who the guy with the other belt. You know, we know who who's calling him out, and he's been very vocal, very you know transparent. You can say in in wanting that fight. Caleb Plant needs to. I know he wants that cash money, and I think after this, if he does get that fight, he's gonna have to you know answer the other guys' calls. So all yeah. right, so. Jesus says Yildirim will be more competitive than Plant and BJ put together. Woo! Starting mm. early with the jabs, man. <laughs> hey, okay. Derek says the champ is here. Shout out to Pennsylvania. He says, I love Plant, but he needs to fight David. And then mm -hmm. Jesus saying Plant is all hype. 